Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle. I'm here at Shore Leave with Mark Ben David, who's in Dark Matter. He was in Bitten and a lot of great things. How are you enjoying the con? I, it's great. I, it's my first one, and it's a really awesome experience. It's a strange and wonderful world under here in the basement of Hunt Valley. Most cons, they're not all in the basement, just so you know. Oh, okay. I was told that they were, but I'm happy to know because I like, I like sunlight. Once in a while, sunlight? Once in a while. No, no, I get out. I get out a lot. Look, I've got a tan even right now. Much better than mine. It is. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I think it is a bit better than yours. Well, I spent all my days indoors editing videos, so you're, you're out there, like, acting and stuff. Acting and stuff in the sunshine. That's what I do. Unless you're, like, in a ship. Unless I'm on the bridge of uh, the Raza or some other ship, yeah. So, we loved you as one, and not so much as, as um, Jace Corso. Corso. Yeah. He was not as nice. No, no, he's not as nice. He's a baddie. He's a real baddie. I liked, I liked both of those characters to play them, but if I had my way, I would, uh, I'd come back, I'd come back with some Derek Moss one things. Yeah, I would agree. Maybe they could send Q to your universe and bring you back. Maybe they can send who? Q from Star Trek. Oh, yeah, they could. Um, I thought, uh, yeah, or or or. Um, M from James Bond they could send to get me or and they also had a Q on James Bond Q on James Bond that's true the guy with the gadgets Um, that's who I thought you meant when you said that right away Uh, yeah yeah so so I'm taking you're not a big Star Trek person look I I I was a kid when it was back on the air I saw a bunch of episodes because it was on TV but I never I didn't watch a lot of TV growing up, so I didn't, I didn't get into it like the people here obviously got into it. Yeah. Well, that's all right. So if you do have a chance to watch TV, what do you watch? Uh, right now I'm watching a show called The Leftovers, an HBO show that I think is really amazing. Um, BBC Planet Earth 2. Have you seen that shit? It is the best show on television. I have not seen it. You, you know what I mean, Planet Earth? It's like a, the nature show that David Attenborough narrates. The second season of it is, like, riveting. Check it out. Very cool. I will definitely do that. I will check it out. Because I live on this planet. It's called Earth. Is it about the same planet? It's about the same planet, but not about the people. It's about the animals. That's probably uh, a much nicer environment, then. There's also a show that Louis C.K. and Zach Galifianakis made called Baskets. Have you seen that? No. Maybe the strangest show I've ever seen, and it's hilarious and heartbreaking and amazing, and I think you should check it out. All right. Well, I'll I'll check it out. Everyone out there should check it out, right? Yeah, you guys should check it out too. Baskets. Awesome. So, are you working on anything new? I just finished shooting a series for the CBC uh, in Canada called How to Buy a Baby. I'm not sure when it's coming out, but it's a hilarious comedy about an infertile couple trying to get their hands on some offspring. Are you part of that couple? I am. Half of it. Exactly half of it. 50%. 50%. All right. Very cool. We'll keep an eye out for that. Yes, please do. So you're in Dark Matter and Bitten, which is more of the fantasy, horror, and of course sci-fi realms. Are you a big fan of those genres? I I wasn't until I started shooting them. Until I got into them, I'd seen all the Star Wars movies and the X-Men movies and stuff like that I was really into, but I wasn't a fan until I started shooting it myself. Yeah. Well, that's a good way to get into it. I know, right? Weird, weird entry point. So since this is your first con and you see other people, because you wore some interesting costumes on your shows. I did. Yeah. What do you think of these people in cosplay? These people dressed up as Star Trek people? Yeah, they, these are my heroes. I mean, this is the outfits I've been seeing here are incredible. I think it's so cool. People of all ages coming with costumes that I'm pretty sure they've made themselves most of the time. It's amazing. Yeah, I sort of envy their lives. I, I really I want to get into cosplay, actually. Really? And who would you cosplay? Who would be your first choice? Um, did you ever see the movie Hocus Pocus with Kathy and Jimmy Bette Midler and Sarah, Je- Sarah Jessica Parker? Yes, I did. It's been a while. Probably wear the Bette Midler dress from that. It's a gigantic 
sort of insane thing with a huge piled up wig and crazy makeup? Why not? There are people I see, guys dressed as Supergirl all the yep. time, so yep. why not? Cosplaydrag.com slash org slash CA dot gov. All that stuff, yes. <laughs> so, we have some uh, really odd questions for you. Okay. Just three of them, real quick. First of all, what is your favorite candy bar? I'd have to, have to just pick one. Well, if you had a bunch of candy bars in front of you, which one would you grab first? It depends on my mood. I'm often... Do you guys have score in the States? Yeah. I often want a score. I often want a Snickers. Um, but then again, pe- um, Butterfinger is an amazing creation. So it's probably in that... Somewhere in those three. All right. Top three we'll take. That works. Yeah. I have a hard time choosing myself, and now I'm suddenly in the mood for a score. Yeah, score is a beautiful chocolate bar. Simple, humble, lean, great design. It's like the iPhone of chocolate bars. It actually looks like it could be an iPhone. It looks like it could be an iPhone. Maybe two of them together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. um, We're being told to speed this up. So real quick, um, if your life had a theme song, what would it be? (gasps) Okay. Um... Oh, man. Okay, okay. Uh, if my life had a theme song, it would be um, the Dolly Parton cover of the Bob Dylan song, Don't Think Twice. Okay, is that because you don't think twice? I'm going to leave it up to you to decide. All right, that works. And final question. You're given a box. Inside the box is something that you want more than anything else in the world. You open the box. What's inside? A foot massage. A foot massage. We can talk later. I I can do that for you. Thank you. (laughs) And where can people find you on social media? Uh, On Instagram, it's Mark Ben David, my name, although I'm not that active on it. And, And on Twitter, I'm also Mark Ben David. So, yeah. That makes it easy. We'll put like little things here so people can actually see it. Great. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for uh, agreeing for the interview. (laughs) It's a very Canadian thing. I just thanked you for interviewing me. (laughs) Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, have fun and cosplay on. (laughs) Hi. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share. And we love to read your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon to get notifications of our new videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the con floor.